Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and today I want to show you how to use a graining tool on a piece of birch wood. I'm going to be redoing a an old metal target shelf and showing you how to take just simple birch wood and, and transforming it with paint and a graining tool. It looks so good. Let's go over materials first. First, I used a quarter of an inch birch wood that I bought at the hardware store. Next, I'm going to be using a white chalk paint and mixing it with a reticut gel stain in the color java. Here's the graining tool I'm using and I'm just using a small synthetic brush. I'm going to be mixing the white chalk paint with the java gel stain. There's no magic formula for this. You just mix until you get the color you like. Now, honestly, I'm a big fan of mixing mediums. A lot of people, other bloggers, uh, people who create paint are going to tell you it might not be the best thing to do. But today, guys, today I am experimenting and I'm having fun. The biggest thing you need to think about is make sure the mediums are compatible. Like both of these are water-based. I'm using a water-based gel stain and a water-based paint. Um, do, do many people mix chalk paint with gel stain? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But as long as I get the color I want and it actually works, that's what matters, right? So once you mix your paint and your gel stain, um, what you're going to do is just take a brush and you're going to cover the surface with uh, at least one coat of paint. And don't wait for it to dry. Immediately after you put that one coat on it, um, go ahead and roll that graining tool over it. All right, guys, so this is where I made a mistake. Um, you can see I didn't do one continuous long stroke with the graining tool. So what I did was I went back over it again with the paintbrush and then I took my graining tool. You start at the edge and you do one sweep, go all the way through the surface. Don't stop because if you stop, um, it's not going to look authentic or real. So here I am with my second try. I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of that gel stain, make it a little darker. And then you can see I'm making one continuous swoop starting at the edge and moving the entire way down without pulling the graining tool up. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna slow down, I'm gonna show you guys in real time. So you start at the edge and you roll it. As you slowly roll it, you go to the edge and not until you're off of the surface do you pull it up. So you can see how I'm slowly rolling it and then I don't pull it up until I'm off the edge. So there you go guys, that is how you use um, a graining tool. One quick tip, as you use the graining tool, you might get some of that extra paint on your graining tool. Make sure to wash it out in between uh, swipes because what happens is if you get too much paint on that graining tool, it's not going to effectively create a grain the next time you try to use it. Okay, this is the last one I did and honestly, the fourth try was probably the best and I, I feel like that one looks the best. See that? Love the way the grain shows, and it looks even better once it dries. This works really well if you do a dark color underneath and then paint a light color on top. When you use that graining tool, it will pull out that dark color underneath and look really nice. One more tip is when you use the graining tool, always make sure to swipe in the direction of what the real wood grain would be. Uh, you do, you want it to look as real as possible. And if you're going against the grain, maybe not everybody will notice it, but it just looks better if you make sure you're going with the grain. One thing you'll notice, I've got two different si sizes of the wood grain tool, which is always a good thing to have because on the top, I'm using the larger wood graining tool, but on the sides, this is a box I made, on the sides, I'm using uh, the smaller wood graining tool. So if you're really looking to do this, definitely get two sizes. Here is the finished product, guys. Look how prominent that wood grain is. I feel like it looks so much more prominent once it's dry. Um, love that wood grain, and I think that panel is my favorite. So what do you guys think? I hope I've shared a few tips and tricks on how to easily use a wood grain tool and how to make something really nice with it. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a video.